We all know atoms are the basic building blocks of matter and the smallest unit of the chemical elements. We also know atoms are really, really small. But just how small is an atom? There are 98 naturally occurring elements that make up everything you have ever seen. Each element has its own type of atom. These atoms are not all the same size due to the difference in the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons they contain. In terms of atomic radii, the size of atoms ranges from about 0.3 to 3 angstroms, which is equivalent to 30 to 300 picometers. Now you probably aren't too familiar with a picometer, so let's convert that to meters. A picometer is a trillionth of a meter. Another way to say that is that there are a trillion picometers in one meter. So if we were to take the largest element, which is cesium, with an atomic radius calculated to be 298 picometers, and line its atoms up side by side along a meter stick, more than 1.5 billion would span from one end to the other. Have you ever been in a competition where you tried to guess the correct number of jelly beans in a jar? Well, we're going to do something similar, except I want you to guess how many atoms are in a penny. Go ahead, write some number down. This is a little more difficult than the jar of jelly beans because we can't see any individual atoms. But do your best. I'll even give you a hint. It's a really large number. So add a few extra zeros to the end. Go ahead. I'll wait. So how many atoms did you guess were in the penny? A few million? You're going to have to think of a larger number than that. A few billion higher a few trillion you're not even close there are approximately 2.8 times 10 raised to the power 22 atoms in one penny that's 28 million million billion so how'd you do were you even close it's really hard to imagine that many things in this one thing which we would tend to consider a small object but that's how ridiculously tiny atoms are. Since atoms are so incredibly small, scientists use a special counting unit called the mole to help them keep track of the number of atoms in a sample. This is similar to the way shoes are counted by the pair and eggs are counted by the dozen. One mole, however, is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23 atoms. That's 602 sectillion. This number is called Avogadro's number, and it's named after Italian chemist and physicist Amadeo Avogadro. This number is so enormously large because atoms are so incredibly small. Let's try to imagine just how large Avogadro's number is. We'll talk about it in terms of money, something we all like. If there was one mole of dollars in the world, and it was equally distributed amongst the 7 billion people on the planet, every person would get eighty six trillion dollars that's enough money to spend a million dollars a minute for the next one hundred and sixty four years alright so maybe that didn't help out very much so let's try to think about this a little differently let's scale the atom up if every atom in a penny were the size of a golf ball the penny would be larger than the planet Mars Okay, so maybe it's easier to just keep saying atoms are really small. I mean, they are essentially incomprehensibly microscopic. But that's the cool thing about science. We don't have to see atoms directly or even count them individually to know their size, mass, and how many of them there are in an object. We just need to know a little stem. So stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you. Because there are some things too small to see and others too large to hold, but science is your only tool to understanding them all. Thanks for watching.